Was any of you in Bangkok in May 2006? It was a very different environment in May 2006 because of the celebration of the king's 80th, you know, 60 year reign. And he was about 80 years old. Thailand's king reigning in Thailand for 60 years. Now to us Americans, it's like, what would be, you know, no big deal. But, um, well, let me, let me read this, this verse real quick. If you have your Bible, go ahead and turn to 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter chapter 1. Yeah, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 16. And I like this little blue Bible, so I'll read now this little blue Bible. And Peter speaking here, it says, For we did not follow cunningly devised fables. <coughs> or you could say legends, like real powerful legends or stories. We did not follow cunningly devised fables. Fables, when we made known to you the power of Jesus Christ and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of His majesty. Of His majesty. If you want to experience majesty or royalty, May 2006 in Thailand was the time to do it. And I like some of the songs we sang. We sang, Jesus, you are my king. Amazing love, how can it be that you, my king, would die for me?
from Saudi Arabia come visit Fairtex, but it didn't work because they couldn't do the security on it. So it was just an amazing time. I have no clue about majesty. I have no clue about royalty. I've been a Christian for 28 years. I've seen the songs, but I haven't really physically experienced it. So on this momentum, monumental, thank you, on this beautiful day, <laughs> the king was going to present himself to his people. So it was a big day. Again, I had no idea what's happening. So I'm in Patia buying a Sony camcorder high drive. And I have a beautiful lady boy helping me because he can speak very good English. And we're going through this, you know, I'm trying to figure out this Sony thing. And, and then all of a sudden he comes up behind me, grabs my arm. Oh, let's go see the king. Let's go see the king. I'm like, go see the king. I'm in Patia and the king's in Bangkok. He goes, no, let's go see the king. So he takes me, gently escorts me to go see the king. I'm in the Marriott Mall in Patia. And then I see everyone going to go see the king. I'm like, how's this going to happen? We go to the big screen TV places, right? So we're all going to go watch the king on TV. Thailand has about five channels, right? Every channel is covering the king. So I'm like, okay, we're going to go see the king. What is he going to do? I have no idea what he's going to do. All the king is going to do is wave his hand to his Thai people. That's all he's going to do. And that's the number one picture in Thailand right now. Is the king going like this. So, <clears throat> here I am. You know, every, the whole mall is stopping to watch this event. Everybody is in front of these big screen TVs. So I'm there with my lady boyfriend, and we're watching this, and, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. To me, it's like an American football super highlight. How do you They have, This guy's just going to wave his hand. But they have cameras 10, 20, 50 yards out filming the king. Saying what the king is doing. And then I found out this was an important thing because the king had a stroke a couple years earlier. He has been trying to get up his strength for this uh, big event. So he by himself can walk and present himself. Which was a big deal because he hadn't done it. So I'm sitting here watching the TV screen and everything, and, and they're filming the king everywhere, and, and he's walking up, and, and again, I don't know what's going on, and then the lady boy next to me goes, Luke, Luke, I got goosebumps on my arm, the king's going to say hi to us, and, and he's going to wave his hand to us, and I'm like looking at him like, what the heck's wrong with you? He starts crying. All the Thai people around me start crying. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what is going on. And then, the older Thai people, the old school Thai people, they get down on their knees, what show is here? And I found out about this later. They get down on me, their knees, and they show a high wide. A high wide is not even in the language. It's a respect towards the king, saying that you're begging him to fully control your life, to take over your life, to take control of you, to sacrifice your life for him. And so the older ties get down on their knees in front of the TV, 